Good morning, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. I'm fascinated by the impact of hormonal dysregulation on mental well-being. Why? Because I see it all day, every day. Low testosterone tends to cause low mood, anxiety, depersonalization. But it's confusing sometimes because the presenting symptom can be something like irritability. Something that you would normally associate with, with high testosterone. Anger, irritability, you must be high. But actually, I saw a guy yesterday who had a testosterone of two. Yes, two. And his free testosterone was 0 0.5. 045. It's a wonder he was even standing. He was obviously struggling with fatigue. So he said he had a two hour window period where he could do some exercise, but for the rest of the day, he was wiped out. But he was telling me a story of an interaction he had with a traffic warden. Now we all love traffic wardens. But this particular traffic warden took his wife's disabled sticker out from the dashboard of, the, of his car, which is inappropriate. That's his property, so he has no right to touch that. So my guy took umbrage at this and he said, we almost had a scrap. And this was a few days ago. And I'm seriously considering going back and battering him. So I obviously warned him against this because it would serve no purpose. But isn't it interesting? Testosterone of two, and he's irritable and angry. The brain knows that you're not well. So whether it's a physical manifestation, psychological manifestation, you cannot separate the two, and you need a sense of perspective because there will be no purpose in this guy going back and battering him because with a testosterone of two, he'd probably get flattened. Um, but isn't it weird? Low testosterone and irritability. The brain recognises that you're not well and it manifests itself in discord and disharmony. And conversely, high testosterone can cause aggression and anger, especially if you're a wanker. Um, so high testosterone can bring out your personality. And we all have personality traits that we're not too fond of. And we do need to understand that we need to control these things. But when you have high testosterone, you lose objectivity and perspective. So we all know guys down the gym who are banging in gear, who are on high levels of testosterone. They're great in small doses, but you wouldn't want to spend the day with them. Me, 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 narcissism, narcissism. So high testosterone is associated with drive and determination. And when you have low testosterone, you've lost that drive and determination. So obviously, you want that back. But actually, what I want you to have is a sense of perspective. I want you to have drive and determination, but with too much drive and determination, you lose objectivity. So when you're banging in gear and you're trying to get big buff and bitching, then it serves a purpose. But for normal life, for the 23 hours outside of the gym, you do not want to be heightened. You actually want to be cool, calm and collected. When you're at home, chilling. When you're at the gym, you want to be alert and ready to go, but you want to always maintain a sense of perspective. And this is what our guys are actually seeking, normality, that sense of perspective that has been lost. So when you have low testosterone with low drive, low determination, you want to have high testosterone to get high drive and lots of determination 
but you don't. You actually want a semblance of normality. So guys with high testosterone do have lots of drive and determination. Although I will say lots of guys with high testosterone have lethargy and feel discord. I don't like high testosterone. Uh, it, it brings in uh, an uncomfortable element of anxiety. I've got way too much responsibility to just be continually focused on hitting the gym and the things that I want to achieve. I do need some downtime. So if my levels run high, I lose that objectivity and I focus on things that I can not actually affect a change on because I need to just chill. So with high testosterone, you have high dopamine. And dopamine is the pleasure chemical. So that makes sense. I want high testosterone because I want high dopamine. Great. So what happens to young guys with their high testosterone, high dopamine? They engage in risky behaviours. Why is that? That's weird, isn't it? Because they should be happy. They're in this state of nirvana, but they're not in a state of nirvana. So they engage in risky behaviours. They're supposed to go and hunt and gather. So we are idiots in this modern civilised world. We do not need to survive, so we have choice and we make bad choices and follow the path of least resistance. With high testosterone and high dopamine, we have to engage in risky behaviours to actually have a reward. We need to appreciate that life is all about experiences and appreciating the need for contrast to actually enjoy life. So Nirvana is not this heightened state with high testosterone and high dopamine because you can't actually achieve contrast without engaging in very risky behaviours that will get you in a lot of trouble. Nirvana is now. Nirvana is hormonal balance. Having the ability to appreciate highs and the ability to appreciate lows and learn from them and move forwards. So you're in Nirvana, but your sense of perspective is wrong. And that's obviously due in part to hormonal dysregulation. It's also due in part to the machine. Uh, we are living in an age of fear and the government and the five big businesses are seeking to control us through manipulating us through fear. Yeah. And we should not give in to this. You can't beat the system, you go with the flow, no. You need to look inwards and decide what do you want to do. You want a semblance of normality. You want to understand that your noggin is incredibly powerful and you have the ability to effect a change to your personal self and the collective with the right attitude. Hormonal balance and listening to the right people and putting the effort in to seek the reward will bring you peace and harmony.